Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fit blue light blocking filters to LED bulbs using a blue light filter that's designed for a laptop and cutting it to size and fitting it to each type of bulb that you want to uh, use in your house to um, essentially block um, high energy blue and blue violet wavelengths of light. Uh, everything basically below 460 nanometers so you'll still have some blue light coming through but it will be more sort of teal blue um, and it will stop the, the light bulb looking yellow. Um, I'm using an Illuma Shield uh, screen protector for a, a laptop uh, which is this one here. Uh, essentially what I'm doing is depending on the type of bulb that I've got I shall um, have to look at each individual bulb to see what type of a fitting that I would actually need to, to, to do on that particular bulb. These types of bulb, uh, it's a mini golf ball with a, a bayonet cap. They come apart and they come apart like this so you can fit the filter inside the bulb itself. Bear in mind these don't get hot so there's no chance of it melting. Uh, everything is plastic inside it anyway so there's no sort of fire risk. Uh, these are the, the bulbs that I use in the evening so I really don't want to be sort of hour after hour exposing my, my eyes to, to high energy wavelengths of light because it, it does uh, cause macular degeneration uh, devices like iPads, iPhones if you're constantly bombarding your eyes with radiation it, you can end up with blue flashes and it's not very pleasant I've, I've had that once before so um, yeah this is a process by just essentially um, just looking at each bulb seeing what is required I mean this one comes apart for example um, there's actually a little blue uh, sorry, a little uh, tab just here that uh, I'll have to make a little cutout for. Um, what I'll be doing is, this is the uh, the filter here. It's on a bit of a background, so you probably can't see it perfectly. But I've drawn around the um, cap that goes over the light. And then I cut it out. Here's one I've prepared earlier. Um, that's actually got protective film either side, so I'll take that off and then fit it into the bulb itself. Um, like I say, I've got to make allowances for that um, little um, tab that's in there. So what I'll do is I'll just cut up a little tab. I won't actually bother to remove it because it's going to be finickety and I'll end up damaging it. Uh, so that can just be pushed out by the tab. Um, so what I'll do now, it's also quite helpful to make sure your, your fingers are fairly grease free in this, this process. I'll just pull until it comes apart. Got the first one. Yeah, sometimes I have to go around it a little bit until you find the next. Um, there you go. So pull the first one off. That can be disposed of. Hold the middle with your edge of your hands. Throw the second one off, and then find the tab that you've cut out and line it up. They generally, that's it. It's lined up. You generally get a good fit. That was actually quite a good fit. So I find the tab on the um, cap itself, and there you go. And that's it. That can be replaced into the light fitting, and it will, as I say, it will block all of the high energy light from um, potentially leading to eye damage over time. What I tend to do, and all the ones that I've actually put filters on, I put a little tick on it just so I know when I go around if the the light bulb does go. I know to take the filter out and then put it in the um, the replacement bulb. So that's this type of bulb. I shall go on and show you different types of um, light fitting that we've got. We've got some sort of uh, halogen style spots. Um, they're a very different type of um, way of fitting it because the, the filter has to be fitted onto the, the uh, exterior of the bulb itself because you can't get into them. Um, we've got those same lights in in sort of uh, recessed spots that you can actually cut out slightly larger than the the bulb itself and fit it under the ring so you don't have to stick anything on on those. Um, it's just about seeing what you need to do on each given um, light bulb and then just uh, cutting one to fit. Um, I tend to use um, some yellow um, a yellow acetate to um, just practice if I think it's a slightly difficult to fit um, filter and I might have to cut it a few times to get it right I tend to just use this because it's so cheap it's just disposable um, 
And that's basically it. I shall see you in the next section where I'll show you the fitting to different types of bulbs. Okay, in this second part of the video, I'll show you two other types of light fitting that I'm also fitting blue light filters to um, and show the different approaches I'm using to get the filter fitted. Um, the first one will be this type of um, GU10 fitting that fits uh, actually in a little um, retainer and then that fits flush up into the ceiling um, because this has got a stiffly effect on there and it can't actually be removed what I'm going to be doing is drawing around the outside of the uh, light fitting um, the, the bulb itself and then I'm going to be cutting out the circle and then that circle will sit in there and then the bulb will be replaced and then you have the um, the filter underneath. Um, that's basically what I've done earlier. Um, I've taken off a small amount of the, um, the the two sides of the plastic protector. I take off the side, one side that has the ink on it. So let me just double check that will be huh, difficult to tell. that side like so dispose of that piece and then that will go with the the blue light filter side facing upwards so there's no reflection of the uh, protective cover and I've left because it, it spans quite a distance I've left the protective cover on the other side just to give it a bit more stiffness and rigidity so that will sit like that and that's that one done the other type is this type of GU10 fitting, um, I can't actually um, easily fit anything on there, so they're going to have to stick to the glass. I can't take anything off and put it underneath, it would be a real fiddle. Um, what I have done, what I'm about to do, is I've removed this section and I shall use this as the template, draw each section off, and then cut the small round circles out, and then clean each of these with a bit of isopropyl alcohol to make sure there's no grease, anything. Bearing in mind these are from the kitchen so they will pick up grease. And then I shall stick each of the um, little bits of blue light filter on each of these. They're completely flat so they'll stick really well, just like sticking it to a computer screen. And then replace that and that's it. So uh, that's three different types of light fitting that I've covered. There are many more but really um, it would be quite boring for me to show you because there are so many different types but what you need to remember is to go through uh, all the different parts of each of the fitting seeing what the cutouts you need to make and um, then then adjust it to suit that's all thanks for watching